Evans in the backfield. He's the true freshman. And right away, Oatsfall is going to keep it. Pitch it to Evans. Evans, a nice block outside. And Evans has room. C.J. Evans makes a guy miss. And you wanted college football. First play. Touchdown, Governors. 75 yards. Never forget to build their relationship as they begin this season. Now third and nine for Smith. And again, he is forced to scramble. It is picked off. Jack McDonald intercepts it to start the second quarter for Austin P. Clarity in locker rooms coming out to the field is huge. Braylon Smith told us that it changes a locker room and it's changed the locker room for good. His own ball goes up top and it's caught by Jordan Pollard. Snap came clean, kick up and good. I think they're still trying to find that rhythm. So that was a loss of three for Myers. Now second and three. And again, Smith forced out of the pocket. Completes the throw to Jack Short. And his toughness. He's got every bit of that. As again, he's played a lot of this game. Forced out of the pocket from this Austin P defense. Now third and ten. Smith able to stay in the pocket there. And a good throw over the middle to Hudson. That'll be enough for the first down to move the chains for Central Arkansas. Steps for Hayden Ray to get the Bears on the board from 30 yards out. Kick up and good. So the first points of the night for Central Arkansas. Hudson deep to receive. Early in this game, we saw a snap go over Deeds' head. And that one low. And again, the snap, the issue. Deeds tries to pick it up. And the second miscue on special teams for the punting unit for Austin P. Kick up and good for Ray. Love things. Lauren, thank you. Good field possession for Braylon Smith. The give up the middle to Kier Crossley. A good bounce outside for Crossley. Is Crossley a big run on first down? Early momentum for Central Arkansas. Good kick return and then a good run there out of Crossley. Quick throws over the middle. Second and five already in Central Arkansas territory. Again, Crossley right up the middle and Crossley into the end zone. Touchdown Central Arkansas. That's how you start the second half. Kier Crossley, 34 yards. 171 yards. Nice output there. Got him able to take some shots downfield now. It's been conservative for both teams. There's a quick play fake and a quick completion. Helmet comes off. Jared Barnes, the receiver, and easy flags there for the official. Aiden Ray back on to kick. Two for two in his field goal attempts tonight. 32 yarder. Kick is up and true to extend Central Arkansas. Take the coaching and interpret it for themselves in a way that's paid off huge for them. See if Oates Ball has some fourth quarter magic on it. Goes deep on first down. Has a receiver caught. Jay Parker. Big play. Change. Here come the governor. Seed in the backfield. Fourth and four for the governors. Oak ball to pass. Up top. Incomplete. Flag on the play. Pollard had it fall into his chest. Defended by Stephen Mackey. And that is going to give Austin P a first and goal. Need twice. Oats ball the keeper. Oats ball dives across the end zone and ties the game for Austin P. Reserve the two timeouts. So a first down for Central Arkansas. And again, it's Smith. Again, he's pressured. And a great catch out of Hudson. Pressure comes. Smith looks left, throws left, up top. What a catch by Tyler Hudson. Smith going to go to the end zone. Smith has winning hand. Touchdown, Bears. So they will attempt the two-point conversion. Braylon Smith rolls out, and it's good. Yeah, that is ill-advised for a quarterback 365 days a year. Live to play another down. Oats ball over the middle. And it's caught immediately by Eugene Mitter. This ball going towards the end zone. This is the game for Austin P. Designed run for Jeremiah Oatsball. What a play call by Tim Zett. 
Oates ball. He's going to throw it, going to come up short. It's going to be intercepted by Central Arkansas, and that will do it. The Central Arkansas Bears have beaten Austin P. 24-17.